Hi, stamping friends. It's Jessie with Clompin' Stampers. If you don't know me, I am Jackie's daughter, and I've done a few videos with her in the past, but today I'm here solo, and I'm just so excited about it. I'm actually gonna start doing a few more of my own videos, so you'll see me pop in on this channel every now and then. And whenever I come in, I'm going to be talking all things card kits. I just love Stampin' Up's card kits. I think they are just the best crafting boxes in the world. They are so simple, just so easy to use, and I could just go on and on about them. But clearly, you're here for the stamping, not to hear me just babble on about card kits. But I do need to just at least share my number one reason. In the future, maybe I'll be able to share my other reasons. But number one reason for loving Stampin' Up's card kits, they are so easy. Now, if you follow my mother, Jackie, you probably know her style, quick and easy card making. She's all about the simple stamping. Well, surprise, so am I. I mean, she is my mother. She's taught me everything I know about making cards. So I love simple stamping. And I don't think it gets any more simple than these card kits. And honestly, I think it's something my mother just doesn't give enough love to. With her love of simple stamping, how does she not give the love to these card kits? So I'm here to help her with that. Now, the reason I think these card kits are so simple is because you purchase a kit, it comes in the mail. Hey, we're all very happy. We love getting craft supplies in the mail. But when you open up the box, it has all the things you need to make cards. Your card bases are already gonna come pre-cut. Any layers are gonna be pre-cut. Um, you're gonna get the dimensionals, glue dots, whatever it may be that you need to assemble it all. You usually get a little ink pad. I like to call them like mini stamp sets because it's just a sheet of a few stamps. It just comes with everything you need. You don't need all the bells and whistles. You don't need the fancy tools. You don't need the stack of paper to be able to start creating. It's so simple. And the best part, it comes with instructions. Oh, I just love that it comes with instructions. I am not the most creative person. You put the stamps, ink, and paper in front of me, and I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do with it. So with these card kits, you get instructions. You have your stamps, ink, paper, and it tells you what to do with it. It's just so perfect. For me, it really gets me started. And then usually by the end, I start kind of, you know, mixing it up and make my own because the instructions are there to guide you. You don't have to abide by them. So uh, number one reason for loving Stampin' Up's card kits. They are just so simple and fun. I just love being able to have a crafty night to myself, create a stockpile of cards, and then I'm good. And you know, when I got a mail card, I just flip through my stack and I find one. So today I'm actually going to share the birthday card organizer kit. That is gonna be the first kit I'm debuting in these videos. Um, this kit is just, you know, meant, I think we get to make 12 cards. So I'm gonna make 12 birthday cards. I'm gonna be able to put them aside. And then throughout the year, as I have friends and family with birthdays, hey, my card's already made. So easy. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna actually unbox this card kit with you. So I received it in the mail, it's out of its packaging, but I actually have not opened it and done anything. I want you to see just how easy these kits are and how it comes to you. So let's flip that camera. All right, here we are with our card kit. As I said, this is the birthday card organizer kit. Ooh, it's almost a tongue tie, but just comes in this nice kit. We open it up and voila, here's our stuff. Okay, so we got some adhesive. And then let me show you how nicely this is packaged. Let me get rid of the box. Look at that. And you know what? Oops, upside down. My instructions, my favorite part. So let's break into this. I got my snips. We're just gonna quick cut that open. Get the packaging off. You know, this might actually be the hardest part of a card kit is getting everything out. Okay, where to begin? We got dimensionals, some embellishments, ooh, and some dots. Ooh, we got lots of fun things going on. We have envelopes. Ooh, so pretty, I love the colors. Okay, so we got two different fun pattern envelopes. Those aside, here is our card bases. We got two prints, so I think we're making six of two different cards, so 12 total. So card bases, and then here's all the things that we get a layer with. Um, these are actually all punch out. 
So as I was saying, everything comes just ready for you or cut to size. So I'll just be able to punch these all out and bam, I bet there's one of my layers. How exciting is that? Okay, we got, ooh, these are stickers with dates in multiple languages. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, and these are cute stickers. It's your day, more layers. Wow, so many things. Oh, this is so great. And then I guess this is the organizer. So it's a nice little folder. If you can see, there's a pocket here. Dates, dates, dates. Okay, so like I said, I just opened this. Um, I'm assuming this is each for a month and then you get a fill in birthday name. So you never forget a friend or family's birthday again. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, so we got that. And now the instructions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a quick pause and I'm gonna read through these instructions because I don't think any of you wanna wait on me to read through them. I'm gonna get myself set up and then we're gonna start making some cards. All right, I am back, I am ready. I've read my instructions and I'm ready to create. Who wants to watch these cards come to life? So as I was getting myself ready, I realized that this kit is actually no stamping needed, which I think is fun you know, not all card making has to be stamping. So what I'm doing here is I got my two triangle layers and now I'm just laying down the adhesive, which just breaks apart real easy, you know, so glue's not needed. Um, you can probably put as much or as little as you feel comfortable with. So I got that done. Now the difficult part's gonna be peeling. So we got one. We got two and we got three. All right, so I think this is what's fun as I was saying is you can kind of, you know, go off instructions. So clearly it's gonna go one way, but do I wanna put it there? Do I wanna put it there? The options are endless. Well, kind of really just two, so maybe not endless, but there's one layer down. Now I'm gonna do my second layer. So same thing, just gonna, use the adhesive and this is a smaller triangle and you know what it probably just doesn't need as much adhesive so i'm just going to go for two peeled off one peeled off two all right so do we go here i could go like that and make strips oh i don't know i think i'm gonna go with this one there my card base is all done. It's together. All that I need is a little happy birthday. So we're gonna go with happiest birthday. So I'm gonna fold my card up and now I gotta decide, do I want it to flip this way? Do I want it to flip this way? I think I like this way. Yep, I'm gonna go with this one. And you know what, my next card, maybe I'll do it the other way. Got my happiest birthday sticker. Bam. We got one card done. How exciting is that? Add it with its matching envelope. I'm ready to go. Hey dad, here's your birthday card. Can't wait to send it to you in May. All right, let's do the second card. Okay, here's all the pieces for the second option. Um, so when I came back, I obviously punched everything out, got myself ready. So where was I? Okay. We're gonna flip these pieces because I think we have some adhesive. adhesive Is that how you say that? We got an adhesive. Um, now, which way do I want the front of my card? This is cool. You could either have that side as the front or this side as the front. I wonder which one would be best. Let's see. I think I really like this plaid side first. So we got this strip. I'm gonna get my adhesive out again, plop some down there. Okay, peel that off and just kind of stick that in the center, off center, whatever I want. We got there. All right, now we got the big flower piece. I think we're gonna go with the dimensionals for that. So we'll just stick a few on. Get these pieces off. Ah. Who has ever crafted with dimensionals? You know they end up everywhere. Oh, such a mess. Okay, 
So we got a pop of the flower. Now I think we're gonna use the little dots to stick the rest of the leaves down, which this is going to be, oh no, yep, that one's stuck. So this is the time where some of those bells and whistles and fancy tools come in handy because I, oh, I hate trying to deal with some of these things. When you have nails, it's a lot more helpful. So good thing I have nails right now, but I do have this one stuck on my fingertip. <laughs> but I think we all know how that goes. Okay, hold on, let me get that guy off. Nope, okay, he's still hanging on. Can I put you there? Ha, that worked. Let's see. Just gonna keep building this card. See, this is what's just so fun about crafting, just kind of assembling and I can make it however I want. Put these little pieces on any side. There's no right or wrong to build a flower. Not all flowers are the same. Just make it my own. Where do you, oh, I like you right there. And then one more. I'm sorry, I know this is very tedious and not the most exciting stuff, but I really want you to see this finished card because I think it's just gonna be so pretty. All right, do you stick there, here? I think you gotta go down there. I'm not sure if I left enough room. I can do this, I can do this, there. Bam, flower. Okay, what is missing? Oh, it's your day. <laughs> it's a birthday card. We gotta let them know it's their day. This is all about them, right? Again, another sticker. This no stamping thing is actually kind of nice. Okay, I'm good. Ooh, I think, ooh, mm -hmm. so many options. You know what? I think I like it as a little tag up here. Fold that up. Got its matching envelope. And hey mom, here's your birthday card. Can't wait to send it to you in November. See, I'm so far ahead. I got my birthday cards in November already planned. All right, now. What I think the coolest thing about this kit, this is the money maker right here, the organizer. So after I opened it, I realized, yes, these stickers, you just put them on the pages. So here's January. Well, I actually didn't count. Yeah, I think February goes here. March, April, May. Okay, I'm doing May because that's when my dad's birthday is. And as I just said, I already did his birthday card. So put that in, slide that in. And when I go find myself a pen, I write in dad's birthday and I am ready to go. How awesome is this? Never forget a birthday again. And yes, I'll mail this card this year. And then by next year, I'll do a new card kit, a birthday one, and I'll just keep repocketing the cards. You'll never forget a birthday again. You'll always be prepared. How fun is this kit? Now, if you enjoyed this, if you're thinking of picking one up for yourself, um, in the bottom, I'm gonna say bottom of this video, is the description. You'll find a link to a blog post there. The blog post will have all this information and will have the link for you to purchase this yourself. I highly recommend it. I'm never gonna miss a birthday again. This was so fun, so easy. And as I'm still talking, I realized I forgot my pretty embellishments, which is cool, because now I can go back and just add them in. Because you know what? These are my cards and I can do them however I want. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a very hap, hap stamp, nope, I always say that backwards. Stamp happy day. Bye everyone.